your technician Prisla Kansa. Welcome to my channel. So if this is your first time watching me, my channel is about performing chemistry practicals. But this year I have decided to include biology practical because I don't want only chemistry students to benefit from my channel. I want biology students to also benefit. Now as you can see, I'm standing here with a fine gentleman. He's called Joseph Asari Bediakun. He's in the biology um, department, sorry, and she's Madam Harriet's colleague. Yes, he's coming to perform a practical on molecular biology. Molecular biology. So, Sir Joe, welcome to my channel. Thank you, Madam. Okay, so please take us through. Thank you. Students, today I'm going to take you through basic micropipetting techniques. Before I start with this lesson, I have my pipette instrument over here with me. This is a P1000 automatic micro pipette. I have my test tubes. I have my beaker with my reagents, which is potassium permanganate solution. I have an empty beaker here where I will eject my micro pipette tip in. And I have my micro pipette tip box also over here. It's very sterile. That's how you can see. That way. Before I start with the micro pipetting techniques, what I will do is to introduce you on how to use the micro pipette. And before you can use any instrument, you have to know its pass. So I'm going to take you through with the pass of the micro pipette. So, first, on this button, on top of over here, we have the plunger button. Again, beneath the plunger button, we have a yellow ring over here which is the volume adjustment ring or knob. Again, we have a white tape over here, which is the tape ejector button. And again, I have the barrel of the micro pipette together with the shaft. And also have the cone tape also over here. Thank you. Now, I will proceed with the micro pipetting techniques. Before you can use the micro pipette, what you have to do is that the plunger has two resting positions. We have the rest position where I will depress very slowly. You reach at a certain point where you can't move it any longer. So now I'm stuck over here. This is the first resting position and it's called the aspiration position. When I depress longer, I'll get to the second resting position, which is the purge position. So I'm depressing for you to see. So now I'll just apply a little pressure. Now it can't go any longer. So this is the page position. Thank you. Now these positions has their functions. The first position is used for taking the volume of the solution that we are going to. And also used for delivering the same solution. And again, the last position is used for dispensing the entire solution in the pipette tips. Thank you. Now, if I want to use the micro pipette for this instance is the P1000. What I have to do is to first set the volume of the micro pipette. So now, on setting the volume, what I have to do is to lift the volume adjustment knob like this. Then I'll move it clockwise and counterclockwise. Moving clockwise will increase the volume, and moving counterclockwise will decrease the volume. So now I'm going to set it to 1000 microliters. So right now I have. 990 microliters. So I'm going to set it to 1000 microliters. So what I have to do is that 1000 is more than 990. So what I will do is to move clockwise to increase the volume. So as I'm moving clockwise, the volume adjustment that will be moving now is set. I have 1000 microliters set on the micro pipette. So what I will do is I have to move the volume adjustment knob down like this. So now I have 1,000 microliters set on my micro pipette. Now I'm going to measure this volume using this, but before you have to fix a micro pipette tip on the shaft before you can use it. If you forget to fix the micro pipette tip on the micro pipette, then you use the micro pipette to measure the volume, you will destroy the instrument. So now what you do is that you just apply just a little pressure. So you depress it downwards like this to lift the micro pipette tip. So lifting, now what you have to do is that you have to 
displace to the first stop to displace any air in the micropipette before you immerse it into the solution. So I will displace into the first position, which is the aspiration position. After, then I will immerse it into our solution, but you don't have to move it too deep into the beaker, but at a certain level, then you lift it slowly, lift the plunger slowly. Then you take some few minutes, then release the pipette. So now the 1000 microliters has been set on our micro pipette. And I'm going to deliver this volume into one of our test tubes. So I will take our test tubes like this. So for you to deliver the volume, what you have to do is that we just immerse it slowly into our test tube, but not all the way to the bottom, but at a certain level. So in order to dispense the liquid, what you have to do is to first depress to the first position, which is the aspiration position to aspirate the liquid. So now I will depress. And as I'm depressing, you can see that the liquid is being delivered into our test tube. Good. Now, in order for me to get an accurate result, which is 1000, what I'll have to do is to depress to the last position, which is the page position, so that I will deliver any amount of liquid which is left in the test tube. So I will deliver to the page position, as you can see. So I'm done. So what I have to do is to take just some few seconds, then I will lift my hand slowly, but don't allow the plunger to snap back. If not, they also destroy our apparatus. So, so thank you. Then I will lift it slowly from our test tube. So now we have a volume of 1,000 microliters in our test tube. Thank you. After, what I have to do is to eject the tip. So ejecting the tip, you don't use your hand to remove the tip. But what you have to do is that we have the tip ejector button over here. So you just press on the tip ejector button. I have my empty beaker here. So you press to depress our tip. Thank you. Thank you so much. This is very brief and simple. So this is how to use the micro pipette. So my biology students, Sergio has shown you how to use it. So keep on practicing. When you go to the lab, don't be afraid. Keep on practicing and you become perfect. Please, if you have any question on what Sergio has done, please, you can ask in the comments and he will answer all your questions. Please, thank you so much for watching. Keep subscribing to my channel, Chris Candle Kim. Share with your friends, tell your friends about my channel as well. And before I say goodbye, Sergio, do you have any final words to your students? Yes, students, what I will tell you is that I will urge you all for you to subscribe to this channel and also share with fellow students so that you can have a view of how to use your micro pipe so that when you come to the lab, you won't fumble with anything that we are going to do so that you become perfect and do a wonderful job also in the laboratory. Thank you. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you in my next video. It's bye for now.